So a smart pump is an infusion pump for the delivering of medications and what makes it smart is that it has software within it that allows us to build a drug library and within that we can put all the medications in, we can define exactly how they are delivered and um, so it just adds layers and layers of safety and they're the, the gold standard now internationally for delivery of high-risk medications so I suppose our hope would be that every hospital setting across the whole of the HSC and the private hospitals that anywhere where a child gets sick or could get sick that they would have access to this. It would be a standardised system across the whole of the acute hospital sector. Since we've collaborated with Children's Health Ireland we have become the first pilot site for the paediatric drug pumps which are just here behind me. So we're very grateful to Crumlin for the opportunity to become the first pilot site for these, these pumps and it really has worked out very well. We've used it on a number of babies so far this year. You know, as soon as we know there's a child that needs to come to ICU, the nurses in ICU can prepare the drug infusions and they can be ready to go as soon as the child gets here. We currently have two drug libraries in operation, a neonatal drug library and a paediatric drug library. So the neonatal drug library is just a subsidiary of the paediatric drug library. So uh, the significance of Mayo is that they're the pilot site for taking on board the paediatric drug library. It was one of the key things was to, to link in with obviously pharmacy and clinical engineering. Clinical engineering are paramount to the process because we need um, them to facilitate the uploading of the pumps and to, to ensure that we have the correct um, hardware in place in the hospital. Um, and they're paramount to it because they link in with Braun and coordinate the uploading of the drug library. We, we were so lucky in Casabar that we, we came across a fantastic team. We, the, the education and the management team in ICU, but also the education and management in the paediatric ward as well, were just so enthusiastic. We didn't have to convince them of the benefits. They were there already and they couldn't wait to get on board this. There is a great benefit as well that if a patient was to present in Casabar into um, MUH ICU, that patient can be stabilised there on this system, on this drug system, the um, IPATS team, the paediatric transport team for, um, for Ireland, they would move out, they would pick up the patient there and they're also on the same system, so there wouldn't, there's no discrepancies between what has been prepared and what is being delivered, everyone is using the same system. And then that team could transfer the child up to one of the ICUs in Dublin and again when they reach there, they're on the same system. The benefit of this partnership um, is that the children in Mayo University Hospital are receiving the exact same level of technological support uh, for their medication delivery as they will en route to Crumlin with the transport service using the same system and on, on arrival to the ICU in Crumlin that they won't have any disadvantage um, by presenting to a peripheral centre. Uh, all the benefits of, of, of the centre, of the hub of the paediatric network are now available to them.